Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening, Nelson. Sorry. How's it going? Mm, it's tired, but it's good. I'm tired, but it's good. <laughs> yeah. It's going good. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Are you working tomorrow? Yes, every day. Every day. And what about Sunday? Uh, uh, tomorrow is uh, in the fields. I have the class in the in the UCA because I have the devil on their um, course, the the net, net network. Net network. Net, network. Networking. Networking. You're you're it take is, you're receiving classes on it at ITCA. The percentage. Yes. Yeah. Mm. That's CCN, awesome. Yeah. Hey, that's good. Is that the A plus certification? Uh, yeah. That's the A plus certification. But wow. It's hard. Yeah, I know it's difficult. Yeah. I I started the A plus certification on 2000. 10, 2010, 2011, but I just, I just had a CD, you know, we just had a CD and they kind of prepared us for the A plus certification, but it changes every, every year it changes, right? Uh, yeah. It, 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 but... it, it's updated. Yes. Yes. Yeah. But the certificator, it is $400. The certification is four hundred dollars. No, yeah. I didn't. I didn't pay. I mean, my boss in two thousand ten, my supervisor downloaded the course, the A plus certification in English, mm -hmm. and he taught us. He was he was certified, so he taught us uh, how to become an A plus. Huh? In Tofir. No, no, no. It it was just the uh, videos all the material, you know, so he trained us to give better technical support for computers over the phone. But that was it. I mean, we didn't course, we didn't course, we didn't take a course uh, for the A+. We just got the material and study it. And that's it. Okay. But it was good. It was really good. That's right. Okay, okay. But in, in Stanistan, in the LAN network, it's a half plus in the certificator. Is is going more money? Yes, you 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 can make more money if you have that certification. That is true. And if you know English, is even more uh, money. It's, yeah, it's good. That's really good. Yes, good plan. You have a good a good plan there. But okay. Let's see. Girls, good evening. Carla, stop working. Good. Good evening, teacher. You're, you're a workaholic. Oh, yes. It's my problem. Really? Yeah. Carla, how old are you? I am 43. You're 43, but you look younger. Really? Yeah, I just look younger. Oh, thank you. Yeah, at least not younger than me. <laughs> I, I, I already have some silver hair. Oh, my hair is, is silver too. Yeah. It's getting silver. Ah, yes, yes, my hair is getting silver. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's my frustration, Tisha. Frustration, stress. It's stress, yes. The stress produces the silver hair, and yes, uh, yeah, you're frustrated because you're getting silver hair. But that's, <laughs> I mean, women get more worried. But at least you, you can, you can tie your hair. You know, <laughs> you can put some tinter in your hair, and that's it. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, what about the rest? How are you guys tonight? You can dye your hair, dye your hair. I almost forget that verb. Julia, good evening. How are you tonight? 
I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> a little bit tired. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. <sighs> well, yeah, I just had a dilemma today because I got upset again. I don't like getting upset. That's not me. It's not me. Man, is it that I'm getting older maybe that I'm tending to get upset more often? It's not okay. Hey, that. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I think so. Anyways, it's just that uh, while you grow and grow, you keep realizing that you have to do something with your life. You know, something significant. It is a millennial thought. Yes, it is a millennial thought. But, it, but it's true. You have to do something significant for you and your family while you're alive. Because then, I mean, time goes by really fast. Time goes by really fast. I'm 40 right now. So I'm thinking in 20 years, I'll be 60. And I, when I try to, you know, do some memory and go back in time and remember... Where was I 20 years ago? Man, it's so difficult to, to remember. Right. Okay. Now, that, that's a question that I had for you. If you have noticed, I always start with a little conversation and then I bring up a topic. So you can start the class talking with your classmates. Now, we always have to attack areas of improvement, right? So one of the main areas of this group is um, simple past, simple past. So <laughs> whether you like it or not, that's our question today. Where were you 20 years ago? Where were you 20 years ago? So start thinking, start looking for the vocabulary. Where were you 20 years ago? 20 years, or Selena says, like 20 years. Oh my God. Where were you 20 years ago? What good things do you remember and what bad things do you remember? What was different? What was different in El Salvador 20 years ago? So, where were you 20 years ago? I'll do the attendance first, and then we move on with this question together in groups, just to have a little conversation with your classmates. It was different. Okay, so let's do the attendance. Uh, tonight, the topic, the topic for this lesson is compare, which is what we did yesterday, compare the generation X and the generation Y, but don't worry, we will work together. You're going to create an exposition. You will have plenty of time to create a, an exposition with your group in order to create some sort of job environment where you can combine X generation and Y generation. I'll tell you how. I will tell you how. Don't worry. So let's do the attendance first. Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Not here tonight again. Okay. Ana Selmi Chavez. Chavez. Thank you. Can barely hear you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Hey. Present. Present. <laughs> Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Hey. Can hear you. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Hey, Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Okay. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. 
Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Presente, Chan. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Arau. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Yeah, I hear. Yeah. Um, I need to a uh, permission. <laughs> it's okay during the service. I, I am going. Yeah, I am going to to tell you. Uh, today we start. I uh, have a meeting in my house. Um, it is a a little community, pequeña comunidad. How do you say in English? Yeah, a little community meeting. Yes. Uh, then I'm going to to participate, but only listen to you. Listening for the moment, okay? Not a problem, I understand. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, it is what it is. Good. Bien, le voy a decir algo en español súper rápido. Estoy preocupado por algunos de sus compañeros. No sé cuánto nos va a afectar el hecho de que varios compañeros este, han faltado bastante. Y ya solo nos quedan uno, dos, tres días prácticamente. Lunes, martes y miércoles y se acabó. Entonces, recomendación a todos. Si siente usted que usted ha faltado en alguna clase, no falte ya desde ahorita. No se desconecte para nada. Las dos horas exactas y los tres días que faltan. No son muchos, son unos cinco compañeros más o menos. Y al final esos cupos y sus compañeros no continúan, nos pueden afectar. Eso sí, pero eso ya es más tema de administración. ¿verdad? La, les cuento yo, les recuerdo que yo no puedo hacer nada en cuanto a la asistencia, tampoco la administración de inglés corporativo, eso ya depende de Insaform. ¿verdad? Eh, alguien, no me acuerdo quién, no recuerdo de verdad quién me envió una hoja de incapacidad, no me acuerdo qué era, pero no puedo justificar, o sea... No hay manera. En los minutos que han grabado, eso es lo complejo de las clases virtuales. Que no es como que vaya, mire, firme el día que faltó ayer para que no pierda el siguiente módulo. So, I don't know. Ahí. Solo un recordatorio. Eh, y también la plataforma debe estar para el martes en la noche, porque el miércoles es nuestro último día. Ya tiene que estar todo hecho. El miércoles, recuerden que hay una encuesta de satisfacción que debemos realizar todos juntos en la clase, no antes, ¿ok? ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta con las cosas que acabo de mencionar? No. Eh, teacho, yo... no teacho. Walter, y luego este, Nelson. Yo entiendo que cuando solo salimos, un ejemplo, somos 20 de esta clase y solo hay 15, o sea, ellos quieren como llenar el cupo de 20. ¿no? Ya, un... como dice usted, ya como dice usted, es administrativo, porque por mí, si lo que digamos logramos dar la asistencia, la nota y todo y pasamos, por mí si, si los 15 o 10 que pasamos pudieran iniciar, por mí no sería problema Sí, no, es, no correcto eh, Walter, Walter, gracias por su comentario, lo que pasa es que hay un requerimiento mínimo de Insafor por grupo y es 20 si no me equivoco, ese es el mínimo que se debe tener en una clase para abrir el módulo ya, ese es el, el problemita no sé, si, bueno, eh, quienes ya llevan ratos han de haber experimentado algún, algún stop, ¿verdad? Sí, porque yo, yo, ajá, eso, una vez pasé como dos meses, pasé, no, como un mes que no, no, o sea, no arrancaba, pero el mismo. A mí no me gusta mismo. mucho hablar de ese tema porque me da cólera. Y sigo con la viejito gruñón, ay, no, Dios mío. Si no, mejor que metan es que, a, otros, a otros nuevos. Que lo que pasa es que, es que es ironía porque... Hay tanta gente queriendo estar en estos cursos. Sí. Tanta correcto. gente. Y hay tanto que desearían estar trabajando y estar beneficiándose de estas cosas. Y sin embargo, pues, no se puede. Pero bueno, bueno. hay cada uno, ¿no? Eh, bueno, Nelson, no sé si vas a, a, a decir algo. No, teacher. No, no todavía. No. Ok. Ok. Good. So, let's continue. So, I, you have a question. Uh, well, two questions on your Zoom chat. Where were you 20 years ago? What was different with El Salvador? 
Mm, it was different with El Salvador. 20 years ago, and I, I can remember I was like 20, you know, half of my life. I was here in San Salvador already. I had four years living in El Salvador, in San Salvador already. And I was working at Multicinema Reforma, if I'm not wrong. I was still working at Multicinema Reforma or studying. Yeah, I was about to start the career in the Cámara de Comercio e Industria. So yeah, that, that, that was me 20 years ago. What was different in El Salvador? Well, many things. I mean, I, I used to travel all the time by bus, you know, or walk, whatever I used to go. Um, I was trying to survive, you know, working and studying at the same time. 20 years ago, 2002. Oh, it had been recently like the, the earthquakes, you know, 2021, 20, 2001, 2002. I mean, we were struggling still with economy and so many things were different. So, yeah. Simple past, simple past. Remember the verbs in past was and were. Um, acostumbrémonos ya a aplicar el tiempo gramatical que estamos viendo. Por mucho que nos guste el tema, cuando se pueda, hablemos solo en inglés, ¿ok? Bien. Y número dos, aplicar la, el tiempo gramatical que estamos estudiando. So in this case, it's simple past. ¿Ok? Try to use, I used to, we used to what we saw yesterday. So let's do it. It's gonna be four groups, let's go. Uh, I was in the side city <laughs> and we know that George uh, and Singer and, and excuse me uh, and we and we all and with our Children? With our children, yes. So, and and how, how old are you? What the? Excuse me? How old are you? How old are you? Ah, yes, uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, yes, how old are ah, yes, you? Ah, yes, ah, uh, yes. 30, 30, 39. 39? Yes, 39. So, 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 20 yeah. ago, so, so, 20 years ago, you were 19, right? Yes. All right. Good. Yes. Right. That's please for me. And only is only only old. Yes. You were, you were you were young. <laughs> you were young when you were nineteen, right? Because yeah. Oh, 19, yeah. 19 years old, you were very young. Probably you finished your your bachillerato, right? Ah, your, uh, your, your high school. I'm sorry. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Because I, I finished my high school at the age of 18, and I remember. And when when I was uh, okay, uh, I I I don't I wasn't uh, had pain. Now I pain my knee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I remember in this in this time that I put my high health to find I am in 
and out and 12 am <laughs> and with, without pain in my in my knee now i don't i, I can, you can you can use you yeah can use it. yeah <laughs> And was, what was different in El Salvador 20 years ago? Oh, many things, the technology. Yes, the technology. The, the, the cell phones was uh, with technology. CDMA, uh, CDMA, yeah. I remember because I, work, <laughs> I was work, working, work. Oh my God, I was work, working. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. in Telefonica in that year in 20 years ago I was 32 I, 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 I remember that in this in this time the call for for cell phone was a very expensive, expensive. Yeah, yes the, the, cell phone, the cell phone calls was very yes. expensive. Yes. Yes. There, in this time, there, there isn't, there, there wasn't, there wasn't, yeah. There wasn't mm, many, many modes. Mm, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. I, I remember that Multiplaza doesn't exist. Mm. 90 years ago. Um, I was I yeah tw twenty years ago. I was finish 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 the university. Mm -hmm. I I was graduate on two thousand three. Mm -hmm. Yes, imagine at 30, 32, 32 years. I have mm -hmm. I was single. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, twenty years ago. <laughs> I was free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the, it was uh, for me. It was uh, a very good times because yeah. uh, I enjoyed. I enjoy a lot, a lot. I enjoyed every moment. Actually, I I I do, but in that years, I I enjoy my life. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Nelson, where where were you? <laughs> where I was, or just to, um, I work in in shoot shoot workshop. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, for for three. Years. Only one, only one. I I had um what you say what you say robo a uh, robo is is Robert uh, so, so I suffered suffered I suffered a uh, robbery I was I was robbed once, yes. Only once, only once. Mm. Mm. No, it was very different 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was a bit, yes, teacher. I was a bit uh, I was a bit of robbery once. Yes, yeah. really, uh, maybe a bit in the robo, robo, robo? In my bus, me too. In my bus, I all document, yeah. all document yeah. the the bus, the bus path. Uh, uh, how do you say? No me di cuenta. How do you say? I no me di cuenta. I didn't realize. Realize. Right. Mm. I didn't realize. Really, I didn't realize 
And it was good, Sandrita. I prefer. Um, yes, I yes, prefer. I realize that the talk <laughs> with the. Yes, prefer. <laughs> uh, but better, better after, after. When, yeah. when, when my house, when my house, choose, choose documents, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Document of the money. Yes, yes. Or, or yeah in general uh, the 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 20 years ago the time it was better yes yes tie tie better uh, my in my case my children is is a uh, a little it's a little, it's a little, um, in my world, and uh, despacho contable, uh, mm -hmm. practice, practice contable, in, in beginning university. In my case, 20 years ago, I was single. I was single. Uh, uh, I understood. Nah, nah. So, you are not in the Yes. You, you, did you say you have Ah, the president, sorry, sorry. Yes, I the president <laughs> is the yes. change mass relevance. Yeah. Yes, actually things have changed a lot. And we are just uh, as I was telling you, I was just a kid, but I had a lot of uh, uh, memories about it. Because I, I I had a really good childhood and because I my dad always uh, took me to different places uh, on weekends. We used to, we used to uh, travel a lot. And that was, that was good. Now, now <laughs> it's very different because I, I barely have time to, to sleep. So <laughs> yeah, now with my baby, I, I really want to do the things that my dad did with me because it was it was really good and and, and I had yeah. and I had sorry and I had a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, teacher. <laughs> uh, do you mean we are done? Are you done? Yes. Okay. Not a problem. We are almost done too. So, uh, oh, but yeah, Wilfredo was in a meeting, right? So good. Yeah. Let's go back then. Hi, Julia. Okay, I think we're almost ready.
Okay, uh, volunteer or let me see. Okay, I have a number in my head between one and five. A number between one and five. If you guess the number, you give us the answer, okay? So let me start with Wendy, a number between one and five. A number between one and five. Uh, three. Excellent, yes. How do you know? How did you know that was number three? Okay, good job. So Wendy, Patricia, where were you 20 years ago and what was different in El Salvador? Maybe the traffic teacher. Okay, where were you? Where? Were you in Santa Ana, in San Salvador? Were you in high school? Twenty years. Twenty years ago. Let's listen to an example first, okay? Let's get an example first. Can you select a classmate? to set the pace. Oh, Edwin, Edwin Alexander wants to set the pace. Okay, Edwin, set the pace, please. How do you answer these questions? Where were you 20 years ago? And what was different in El Salvador, with El Salvador? Hey, uh, something, uh, I, when I was 20 years ago, actually I was six, 16 right because i'm 36 right now so uh i was uh i was uh i was going to start um high, high school because uh, uh at the college hennessy's college and yes i was there and i was um thing me and my friends we used to claim the volcano because we live uh, ne next to the volcano uh, the difference the, from today, the 75 Avenida Norte, this <laughs> avenue doesn't exist. Didn't so, exist. It didn't exist. So something, uh, it, it was very different. So uh, at the time, in that time, uh, we, 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 used, we didn't have ourselves or any technology. So uh, we, we was, the things that we do is that we used to um uh claim the volcano to look for the vara the vara to to make piscuchas and we used to uh, do uh we claim the piscucha and we used to do the thing that the names the charcola to others neighbors the charcola is like you uh enredas los hilos con otras piscuchas y, y se lo corta oh my god that's being mean okay yeah so it was amazing because we we now because I I born here in this area, and actually I see a lot of different from from today to, uh, back to twenty years, is a lot of difference. We we used to have more forests, more trees. Nowadays is like, um, if the contamination came to this area because it was very nice, and I really like it. I really like it, but. I think uh, oh, 10 years ago. Wow, hey, so we are neighbors. Where do you live? In front of Colegio Genesis. Really? Montevideo? Yeah. Altos, Altos de Montevideo, Altos right? Altos de Montevideo, oh my God, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, they, they close right there, right? Uh, with uh, with gays. And the we, uh, when, I, when I moved here in mm -hmm. 2012, 2012 we I, I i was part of the of these the directiva you know we yeah. create we created the directiva and then we put the gates the two gates because of how how security issues were in 2012 
Exactly. I, I heard about that. There was a lot of robberies inside of the houses. Oh, they, they were almost, stealing. No, they were stealing, were stealing yes. cars. Cars. Oh, my God. They were just coming, taking the cars and leave. Yeah. As no, easy it's, as it's that. Because uh, those those neighbors has uh, you can enter for one for one entrance and you can sit for another one. You could. That, yeah. So not, that, not, that, not anymore. No, yeah, I know, not anymore. <laughs> Are you in San Mauricio? No, I live in San Ramon. I used to live in San Mauricio like 15 years ago. But you know what was my first uh, house? It was in Residencial La Granada. I used to live there for almost 10 years. I don't, I heard Residencial about... Granada is, is near to the, no, it's next to the 75 Avenida Norte, mm. where there is the, the, the backgrounds. I know mm -hmm. where it is. I remember. I yeah. remember now. Yeah, I've been there. I've been there to San there, mm -hmm. there used to be access. There used to be access from here to there to to the tunnel to the tunnel. We will we will yes. talk about it. We will talk about All it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey. Uh, good job. Let, let's see. Um, the things that we do. You were talking in past. So how would you say this in past? The things that we do. did right the things that we did don't forget the past the things that we did. i born here in this area what are you missing on the second sentence edwin i born here in this area i don't know i the birth to be i i was no i no i use no mm, you got it there on the yeah. chat i was born I was born, all right. I was born in this area. It's right. it's a lot of difference. What what's how can you say that correctly? Is a lot of difference. The quantifier that you're using is not it's not good for that sentence. Okay. You need to use there is. There is. Yeah, there there's a lot of difference. There's yeah, there's a lot of difference. There's a lot of difference. Right better there's there's a lot of difference between now and then in Santa Ana not much has changed okay before we proceed with Wendy let's set another thank you thank you Edwin that was really good maybe only Metro Center yeah Metro Center has changed that's the only thing and unfortunately there is no cinema in Santa Ana right Wendy there's no cinema anymore yes yes uh, we have a uh, Cinepolis there's Cinepolis still in Metro Centro? Uh, only Metro Centro. Just Metro Centro, not, not anymore in downtown. No. What, what was the name of downtown's cinema? Universal? I in remember. Santa Ana. Uh huh. Ana. <laughs> Near to La Alcaldía, yeah, there was a cinema. Yes. Near to uh, the town hall. I don't know. How... I'm telling you because. My birth, my birthday present from my father, my birthday present every year, every year, used to be going to Pollo Campero and then watch a movie in the cinema, if possible, if possible. We used to go to the cinema. Okay, so let's see, Carlita, you wanted to say something. You raise your hand. Oh, yes, teacher. I remember that 20 years ago, our life did, didn't depend on the cell phone. You went out without cell phone and nothing happened. Now you forget the cell phone and you, you are in calm because your life depends on your cell phone. You're so right. But where were you? What were you doing 20 years ago? I was working at Salnet. Uh, Salnet? I was, yes. Uh, I was a financial assistant in this time. Oh my God. And you were like 20 something. Wow. Already an assistant. At Salnet, they used to sell mm. these um, proxies, right? These um, commutadores, these B BPN 
Y, y es y es de Salnet eh, eh, ha, has uh, set, um, fi, uh, fixed line fixed lines uh -huh. servers and services it's yeah it was service. like telephone plants they used to call them telephone plants it was a big box in the office I remember yeah. we used to have one at Ilatsa okay great job okay so let's see our lives didn't depend on the cell phones hey very important let's see leave Live. verb right just a, re a reminder live okay, live life life that's a noun Okay, life is a noun and lives, okay, a plural of the noun. Yeah. Just be careful with that, okay? okay? Leave the verb, life noun, my life, your mm -hmm. life. But if you say our, will be plural, our lives, lives. Life. And a brief reminder, this happens because um, there are some words, especially one syllable words that end on the F sound, the F sound. For example, if you say wolves, you cannot say that. You cannot say wolves, okay? Singular, wolf. Okay, wolf, and I'm sorry, that's the plural. Wolves is the plural. <laughs> wolf is the singular. Another one. Thief. Thief. Thieves. 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 And again, a singular. Lif. What is lif? Anybody? Oha, Oha right? What's the Leaves. plural? Leaves. 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 Teacher, um, like living. Uh -huh, yeah. Like living. Yeah. But this leaves. is an this is a noun. Leaves. She leaves every day at 7 a.m. I leaves. live. She leaves. I live. Okay. I'll share leaves. with you. Uh, I just sign in using my Facebook account to something that I found. It's called Visme. I just found it and it's better than Canvas, I think. But this um, is an application that will help you create an infographics. Any idea of what is an infographic? No, let me give you an example really quick. Hopefully this thing doesn't have copyright. I, I love this infograph. And I, I use it when I'm teaching um, marketing, marketing strategies. I think that's intermediate five, if I can remember correctly. Um, and I use it because part of Insa Forbes um, material includes this. This is an infographic. Don't don't get hungry. Don't get hungry. Don't invite me to go to eat pizza after this. Okay, it's just an example. Okay. So this is an infographic. I want you to pay attention to how many pixels this uh, this image contains. Look, if I zoom in, it, it goes really big, you see? And there are better ones, but I didn't find, oh, I think I got it. Let me see if I can load it. I can, yeah, I just found it. Okay, this one is better. Let me know if you can see it, okay? Can you see uh, the, the other image? Okay, no? Let me do it again. Okay, look at this, look at this image. This is an infographic. Now, this thing is over a thousand, let me see, over a thousand, 
200 by 9,900 pixels. Now look at this. If I click on the image, whoa, it zooms in a lot. And then you can scroll down, scroll down. This is a menu, isn't it amazing? For marketing purposes, this is awesome. See how much information you can include in one image, okay? Wow. So look, so small, you click anywhere on the image and you see that. Pastramaliha, North Macedonia, okay? Flatbread topped with cubes of salted meat and egg and hot peppers. It is so beloved that there is an annual festival to celebrate it in North Macedonia. Oh, this goes by countries. Oh, in Russia, Mokba. Okay. Pizza Crunch in Scotland. Sardines tuna. Oh my God. What? It, what? Yeah. <laughs> the Mokba with sardines tuna. <laughs> oh, sardines tuna. Mackerel, salmon, salmon and like, onions. Like fish. Oh my God. <laughs> and they serve it cold. They serve oh it cold. This is from Russia. Well, it's Russia. It's Russia. Yeah. But look at this. In Spain, what is that? Catalan, is it... Catalan coca. <laughs> Savory and sweet ingredients such as mushroom, peppers, and onions. That's yeah. really odd. But, anyways, okay. Oh my God. Deep dish pizza. This is Chicago. <laughs> The Chicago pizza. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyways, so continuing. This is an infographic. Why am I showing you an infographic? Because as per your book, you are supposed to create an infographic. I'm not expecting you to do something like the one that I just show you, right? That's too much. Um, and because of the time as well. But what are we gonna do right now? This is on your book, page 26. Don't tell me, teacher, I haven't downloaded the book yet. Oh my God, really? Okay, missing three days. So group work, design an infographic fe featuring or featuring. Who can help me? What is, what is it? Featuring or featuring? Featuring. <laughs> okay, featuring some of the following. Three advantages millennials bring to the workplace. Three characteristics worth, worth considering to lead millennials effectively. I repeat. Yes. ¿Quién está viendo Betty la Fea? Okay, please, guys, come on effectively okay so three characteristics worth considering to lead millennials effectively three tips to bring the best out of millennials at the workplace and three stereotypes about millennials now you need to prepare a brief presentation for your classmates now here you have a bird example of of an infographic the main idea should be on the center, in any else at the workplace, that's what we're covering today. Advantages they bring at the workplace. Let's do an example together before we do the attendance. Okay, advantages millennials bring to the workplace. Remember yesterday's class, what advantages do we bring to the workplace? I don't remember. I know sunshine when she's gone. Sorry, what, 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 teacher? Okay, here on your book, it says advantages millennials bring at the workplace. Mm. A skill to teamwork, teacher. For teamwork, teamwork skills, okay. Teamwork, yes, teamwork skills, yes. And... They are very collaborative. Okay. Collaborative. 
know about know much about technology. Technology. Okay. One more. New hmm. process, maybe. Let's do something before we move on with this. Why don't we start with the stereotypes? Let's start with the stereotypes. If you remember yesterday's class and the day before yesterday as well. So what's what are the three stereotypes that you could mention about millennials? Maybe they improve the environment. Mm, is that an, is that a stereotype? Millennials are, there are many. One of them is that they are lazy, right? Stereotypes, come on. Exactly, Rosalena, but your microphone is off, so I didn't get it. They are a simple person, maybe. Simple. They are simplistic, simple, okay. They're simple, okay. They don't get complicated. What else, what else? Stereotypes. No, me está poniendo atención. Don't like it, don't like it work. Don't like to work. Yes, uh, um, for the time, not a long time. For a long time. Let's say long shifts, okay. They don't like long shifts. Okay. What is something positive? Is there something positive on, on millennials on stereotypes? Can you have a positive stereotype? Take care of the planet. Oh, they go green. Okay. That's it. Okay. Stereotypes. Now, so considering the stereotypes, now let's go with the advantages they bring to the workplace. You said, um, Anna Selmi said teamwork. Okay. Somebody else said technology. One more. Change the process. Uh, how do you call that? How do you say, oh my God, compromise engagement with the, with the. Engaged. Engaged, yeah. Innovative. Is that properly written? Yes. Innovative. They like to innovate. They like to be creative. They are engaged. Do you think millennials are engaged with the company? No, in the company. No. No, no. Remember what the, the presentation said yesterday? Uh, they don't like yeah, to, uh, to be tied to the same job for a long time. Yeah, yeah engage not with the company, engage. I don't know. You know what? The... As a millennial, I will tell you, Rosalena. Mm -hmm. Typically, I become more engaged with the product than, yeah. than I am with the company. I become more engaged with the product than with the company. Let me okay. give you an example. When I worked at US Airways, the, the airline, the airline, um, somebody used to ask me, where do you work? I didn't say I work at Atento, the call center. I used to say I work at US Airways. I work for US Airways, the airline. Because I was proud of working for an airline. It was really good. Although I used to work in a call center. Okay, so hmm. Let's see. X generation, yes, definitely. They they are engaged with um with the company, the rituals, the, the customs of the company. Okay, important characteristics to consider to lead them. Remember yesterday? Could it be that uh, millennials are, are more conscious? 
consciousness. Make more conscious about what? Uh, about reality. <laughs> no. Remember. Characteristics, teacher. The, um, at what time? At what time do millennials yeah. like to start working? At uh, ten a.m. <laughs> Uh, also at noon <laughs> at noon if possible and they need the coffee first remember they, 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 they are, they are self-centered self-centered see sí, self-centered now self -centered. to lead to lead them to guide them as a manager what do you need to consider feedback uh, hey, there you go feedback uh, yeah. Constant feedback. What else? Uh, they are more open minded. Open minded. Okay. Yeah. They're more open minded. So, how do you say reconocimiento? Uh, you say pra pra praise, all praise. You have to praise them. You have to praise them frequently. Oh, great job. Here you have a bonus. Hey, take the weekend off. Great job. Right? Optimistic. To be recognized. Optimistic. Okay. Just three, four now. Let's continue. Tips to manage them. Okay. So considering this part, the feedback, being open-minded, praise them. What tips will you give to a manager to lead millennials in the workplace? Okay, promotions referring to growth and promotions referring to Rec um, recogni recognition, teacher. Exactly, to recognitions. How do you say patrocinio? How do you say patrocinio? We saw that yesterday. A sponsor. A sponsor. A sponsor. <laughs> sponsor. To sponsor them. A sponsor, for example, their career, right? Their careers, correct me if I mistyped something, okay? Career, sponsor careers, and so on. This, this is your example. This is what you're going to do in your group, okay? Now, your mission during the next hour or 30, 45 minutes is two things. Lo voy a decir en español súper rápido porque ya casi son las nueve. Voy a pasar el listado. Ok. Número uno, crear este mismo cuadro. Está en su página 30, no, 26 del libro. Página 26 del libro. Crear este, este cuadro. Pero aparte de eso, vamos a hacer al mismo tiempo una comparación porque ese es el tema de ahora. ¿Ya? Te pongo un ejemplo. Si millennials like to work in teamwork, they love teamwork. What about the X generation? The previous generation, the baby boomers, I'm sorry. ¿Qué, qué onda con los X generation? Con la generación anterior. Trabajaban en equipo. They were more individual. Technology wise. Man. They didn't zero like technology. Not zero, but they didn't yes, like it. They were, they, they were like getting used to the technology. So yes, they, no they prefer That's some right. other type of reports. Or you could say they prefer access or Excel and, and graphics, you know. And millennials actually prefer a whole video showing, <laughs> showing the results or anything. Innovative. Uh, the X generation, uh, they didn't like complex things, you know. Teacher, mm -hmm. how, can, how can I say in English, van a la segura? They go safe. They like to play safe. They play okay. safe. They play safe. Pero me estoy yendo por la tangente. Ventajas de traer al trabajo. Ojo, en el, en el ¿qué sería? Oh my God, ¿cuál es la palabra? El recuadro, la sección, el... 
how do you call these things on a graphic? Oh my God. Bueno, no, there's a word for this. Okay. So, en, en esa sección del lado izquierdo superior, tenemos ventajas de traer al trabajo. Entonces, yo quiero que ustedes comparen entre millennials, ya tenemos esas tres, por ejemplo, X generation. Okay. ¿Cuál sería la ventaja de tener alguien de la X generation? Comparando con un millennial. Teamwork. Mm, ok. Experience. Experience. Mm, ok. Sí. A, ahora, el día de ahora, a, este, a estos días, tendrá alguien de la generación X o un baby boomer. Puede ser uh, leader. Leadership. Leadership. Because millennials like to work teamwork, but X generation baby boomers, they prefer to lead people because of their experience. That's true. Teacher, yo les quiero contar algo, pero en español, porque <laughs> por, por, solo como por ejemplo, eh. So, a ver si no se sale de la, de la temática. Abrieron una pupusería. No, 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 no. Eh, Aquí se no, cae no, mi no, casa. No. <laughs> es uh -huh. que en la oficina le, le dieron la oportunidad a un chico Pas eh, en cierto puesto como como encargado fijo de un área administrativa, pero ten, él tenía como unos 22 años. Le dieron el entrenamiento, la manager casi que le hacía el trabajo, todos los días le llamaba y le preguntaba si había hecho los reportes, hacía los reportes con él, le dejaba reportes pendientes, vaya, esto lo va a hacer usted, no los hacía, le llamaba, no contestaba. Eh, no contestaba los emails, no contestaba los requerimientos, no, o sea, si los contestaba era porque alguien más se los hacía. Entonces, era una súper buena oportunidad que le estaban dando a este chico, pero al final él no quería. O sea, hicieron de todo, lo aguantaron como un año y medio, ¿Qué? buscándolo, ayudándole el trabajo. O, eh, platicaban con él que, que necesitaba, que, que quería que, y todo y, y todos los días le hacían el trabajo no. pero al final lo, lo terminaron despidiendo que de hecho él manejaba las tarjetas de crédito de la oficina las topó, se las gastó él eh, pero es que y no lo metieron preso un... no, en Ericsson no hacen eso nunca oh my god este, pero él, o sea, tenía 21 años, eso fue hace como unos dos años atrás. No aprovechó la oportunidad que le estaban dando, pero yo creo que es esto mismo de lo que hemos estado platicando. Un millennial que él no le daba la importancia a nada. No sé, al final, pues sí, sí él aprendió la lección, pero realmente a veces los chiquillos no, no quieren trabajar. Ya no era millennial, no ese era un senior, ese era un senior. Pero no, no sí, es verdad. que... Sí, sí, Carla, eh, bueno, me, bueno, me voy a aprovechar de su, de su uh, interpretación, ¿cómo es? De su interrupción, eh, lo que me acaba de contar, wow, yo, yo le digo, como jefe, lo, lo hubiera de su intervención, esa es la palabra, gracias, Ana. Um, mismo ejemplo, yo tenía un alumno, eh, tipo, bastante gordo, pero alto, o sea, y una persona que le inspiraba confianza en tres a uno. O sea, uno decía, no, esta persona necesita que le ayude. Y, y, y no hallaba trabajo, donde quiera que fuera. Era muy enfermizo, pero tenía igual 21 años. Estaba bicho. Hicimos de todo, no lo lográbamos colocar en los programas de, de desarrollo de jóvenes en, en riesgo, así se llama el programa. Y el lugar al que llegaba no duraba ni una semana, ni un mes. ¿Qué pasaba? Le daban bajones de azúcar, le daba esto, le daba lo otro. Y donde quiera que lo enviábamos, eh, siempre llegaba la tía a rescatarlo. Era como, mire, le dio un ataque, se le bajó el azúcar, que no sé qué, y llegaba con la tía. Y así siempre, siempre, siempre. Y daba tristeza porque había perdido el papá, había perdido a la mamá, o es un caso bien complejo. Para no hacerles el cuento largo, lo referí con alguien, lo contrató. Y el mismo día que lo contrató, le pasó lo mismo. Ahí está sentado, mandó una foto sentado en la silla, que se le bajó el azúcar y hasta la ambulancia llamé porque, puche, que bien feo, ¿cómo le agarró? Y no lo habían puesto a hacer trabajo así pesado. Bueno, para no hacerles largo el asunto, una semana después sale en el periódico 
que habían agarrado una banda de, de, de estos que hacen pornografía infantil. Y ahí estaba él también entre ellos y yo, what? Y me he quedado yo que, Dios mío, ¿cómo fue posible esto? ¿Cómo, cómo, o sea, alguien que uno dice es que es un ángel, es una persona tan buena, está en iglesia, y no sé, en tal iglesia. De hecho, me lo encontraba aquí cerca de la casa porque tenían una iglesia familiar o algo así, no sé, hacían cultos y todo. Y bueno, el punto es que ahora vemos, por eso no lo sabemos, y es porque, en resumidas cuentas, Carla, los bichos de hoy no quieren trabajar, Entonces, quieren el dinero fácil. Así conocí el caso de otro que estaba, se metió a trabajar a Tigo para buscar los DUIs de los clientes y con los DUIs cobraba lo de archivo wallet. Y yo me like, wow. Dios mío. Y hizo billete, hizo buen dinero. O sea, al final tienen mucho conocimiento. Eso es increíble cómo son inteligentes, pero ocupan la inteligencia para cosas que no. Ya voy a chequear si tengo mis 30 dólares. <ríe> si nunca lo reclamó, ya no son suyos. Oh my ya God. no existen, ya no ya existen. No ya no existen, ya es tú. Pero que mire, teacher, es que la, la generación está, por decirlo así, disculpen, podrida. Solo imagines la música que escuchan. Esa no es música. Es que Bad, tiene, Bad, han Bad, tenido... Bad lo que hace es, como les digo, chuquedades y... O sea, no soy partidario. No, por y esa música, nadie, yo creo y que esa música que... la meten hasta usted se sube a la corte, la ponen en un lugar de trabajo de uno, la ponen si, si hay una fiesta, por Dios. A modo que la quieren meter a la fuerza. Ay, God. Sí, totalmente de acuerdo. Y así muchas cosas, ¿no? Pero bueno, así este mundo ya nos fuimos por otro lado. Podríamos pasar una hora hablando de eso y no es el punto, pero wow. Sí, es. Bueno, ya nos pusimos en contexto. ¿Cómo está eso? Eh? Eh, ojo, que es la generación Z, ¿eh? Los millennials somos nosotros. Bueno, yo hasta 40 años todavía siento yo que todavía estamos dentro del grupo de millennials que crecimos con la tecnología y podemos contribuir todavía al trabajo. Sin embargo, nos encontramos con los de la generación X que aún, aún están en algunas gerencias y los que no, los que no están en gerencia. Bueno, esa ha sido mi experiencia, ¿eh? mi experiencia. Eh, los que han, por ejemplo, el personal que lleva 15, 20 años en, en el mismo trabajo, en el mismo puesto. Y es como que son personas muy amargadas, usualmente. Eh, y quieren dar órdenes. Porque el derecho de piso así es. El tenure, acuérdense. El tenure makes you do things. Ok, so, estamos claros. Creamos el primer infograma y comparamos dentro de cada... Dentro de cada casilla también vamos comparando con los, la generación X, con los baby boomers, al unísono, ¿no? Si digo teamwork para los millennials, ¿qué puedo decir para, para los exennials, para los de la generación X, ok? ¿Questions? Solo es de hacer un cuadrito, luego lo vamos a exponer, ¿eh? ¿Questions? ¿No? Ok, really quick. A la Patricia Linares Galdamez. Parece. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores, Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Present. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Hmm. Ahí está Ofelia. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Presente, Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Thank you. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Bien. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Yep. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Ahí está Wilfredo, sigue en su reunión. Ok. So, I'm going to split you right now. Please, teamwork. 
Teamwork. No, teacher, that's for millennials. Oh, come on. Teamwork. Okay, let's go. Hey, Pamela, if you can join your group, please, Ophelia. Wilfredo, if possible, please. Teacher, estamos confundidos. What? <laughs> no, solo, solo, o sea, no. solo la pregunta es, ya lo hicimos para, la, para los millennials. Eh, ahora lo tenemos que hacer como No, para vuelvan a empezar. Lo que yo les hice fue un ejemplo uh -huh. de llenar cada cuadrito. ¿eh? Entonces ahora ustedes okay. háganlo a su manera. Solo son tres características por cada cuadrante. Cuadrante. Ah, cuadrante. pero con el mismo tema, siempre de los millennials. Millennials Ajá. y ah, seniors. Sí. O sea, vas a ir, por ejemplo, si decís teamwork en el primer cuadro superior izquierdo, vas a ah. decir um, algo para los seniors que puedan contribuir a la empresa. Algo positivo. Eh, podría ser leadership por la experiencia. So. Uh -huh. Teamwork. Leadership. Si digo technology, que los, los millennials traen technology, que traerá un exenio. Los exenios también saben bastante de tecnología, teacher. Mm. Sí. Maybe formulas. Mm. Porque a veces los, los millennials sabemos de, de aplicaciones y todo, pero hablando de Excel, de las fórmulas de Excel o cómo ocupar Excel. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mire, mi le voy a contar. Pivot eh, tables. Ay, oh, oh, sí. Uh, <risa> Cara de carpet. Ay, sí. es que me da, me da, me da. Ñañaras. Me decepcionan esos cuadros. <risa> son útiles, son bien útiles. Sí, son súper útiles. No, hombre, yo en de... mi tiempo, Carla, en mi tiempo, 2004, creé, oígase, una un cardex, ¿sí? Un cardex para el inventario, pero con, con hipervínculos. O sea, y los hipervínculos me ayudaban a ir descargando el inventario y generar un reporte de mínimos y máximos, stock de mínimos y máximos de inventario. Amada esa cosa. Eso sí, me quedó súper pesado el archivo. Ahí quedó en la computadora del trabajo ese. O sea, después le sirvió para crear un, un, una pequeña aplicación, digamos, otro que en realidad el Excel es una maravilla cuando lo sabe usar, uh -huh. porque simplifica, ayuda a controlar, pero hay que saberlo usar, porque sí. si no, solo suma, resta, multiplica, si acaso. <risa> o arrastra el mouse para sumar. <risa> y no le sale la forma. Y no sale todavía, sí. 
<laughs> okay, guys. So, ya tenemos la idea. Mm -hmm. Sí. Good, good. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Ay, Thank yo, you. Yo tengo la, la, la versión impresa de ese. ¿Quién es Hernández? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Keep going, guys. Thank you. Okay. Advantage. So advantage and could be some, uh, no uh, eh, 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 to tr trust each other. Team building. Let me find. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. No, the first is uh, task you are expected to perform. The first one is advantage. Task you are expected to perform in your position. Like, like, list the skills you like to. Um, I don't know if, if the the order. The order. Teacher, it's going to be the same as is in the book. Uh, uh yes, but we it have to. Matter. We have to compare. Exennials with millennials or millennials with exennials. So uh, advantages they bring to the uh, company, millennials, and then oh. exennials. Okay, okay. Advantages, advantages they bring to the company, they bring at the company. Okay, so then you go with millennials. So, but is is going to be just one chart? Yeah, or just two? just one chart. Okay. That's right with four four quadrants so millennials call in very good and then you start one three advantages of millennials three advantages of exennials that's it only millennials and generation x that's it right ah, okay okay uh, uh i'm sorry exennials x x x mm -hmm. x exennials yeah, x your ex, your yes. your ex senials, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't think about your ex. Don't think about your ex. Uh, could, you, could you please spell it for me? I think it's just ex senials. Mm -hmm. Ex senial. Ex senial. Yeah. Senial. Senials. Something like that. Like this? Yeah, leave it like that. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> In the other, in the other side, characteristics. This important. Yeah, characteristics. Characteristics. Millennials are old. Millennials are we. Advantage. Millennials, uh, are we, este, Julian?
Okay. The first one. Advantage. Uh -huh. They've been to the at the company. Sorry. They, uh -huh, the advantage that I think that they know much about technology. About technology, about tech, technology. Another. Uh, they are creative. Uh -huh, they are cre cre creative. They are responsible. Mm. Maybe, maybe the ex exenial can be responsible. Yeah. Why? Why? Because millennials. Mm, imagine going to work at ten a.m. <laughs> Possible? Possible. Yeah, another advantage can be that millennials like to e innovate. Oh, I yes. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Millennium is June. Sure. Yeah. yeah, millennials okay. are the young one. <laughs> yes, it's an like it's millennial is is we are we. <laughs> yes, I am. I am actually a millennial, but I consider myself more as a uh, senior <laughs> <laughs> because I was raised a, as an adult. Your kid, is an alpha, no. I think I I think in company are millennials and and ex millennials. Yeah, actually I My, think it's all about it's all about how we uh, how our fathers raise us. Yes, because uh, My I kids. am I am very very conscious about the things that I have to do. Yeah. Because I remember my father always told me that I have to be responsible with my job. Yeah. I have to be punctual. I have to be uh, there. And yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say no if you grant, if you want to grow. That, that's imagine, what I remember. Imagine I am a, a next generation, oh. but with my kids, I I have to be the C generation because. Is it's another world. Uh, I listen to the music that, that they listen. I, I like Justin Bieber. I like Billy <laughs> Eilish. Yeah, I like many, many artists. I live the fever with BTS, with my, with my daughter. It was a, a note, oh my God. But I like it. I love it. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell, I tell them, study, study. You need to study. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes that, that, that's very important. I mean, I think we are a generation that can get uh, easily uh, involved with another one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, the another I'm, more, I'm more responsible. Um, Exenials advantage. I think that uh, they are uh, the responsible. Possible. They are hard workers. Yeah, I think. Hard working. <laughs> yes. Hard yeah. Working. Uh, que enseña a los jóvenes cómo sería 
que adiestra a los jóvenes. No, oh, maybe teach. Teach. Teach you. Teach you. They are, oh my God. Yeah. They are a tra trainer. Tra 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 trainer right? teach to the new generation. Yeah. Okay. But that is a characteristic, right? Yeah. You understand? What? Es a características hay que eh, eh, learning the the ex milenio. Okay. For the millennium, ah, we 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 need another advantage. Okay. <laughs> Characteristics. I, I was reading here. Let me find characteristics. My God. They, they are quickly. Uh, characteristics. Mm -hmm. We are quickly. Quickly, quickly in the in the, asp in the different aspects are quickly, but but technology is quickly. Yeah, but that's for millennials, right? Yes, millennials are quickly. Work, go, work, work. It's with a work, work a a a. Ahí. Work, workaholic. Daría ahí. Es con A. No. ¿sí? Pero juntito. Sí. Ajá. Ok. Eh, Generation Millennium. Y son los. Order is. Sí. 
Yo doy los otros 10 dólares para ver que el de los 10 Y al final, ¿qué le queda el trofeo? Pero si el torneo, y what is the next responsibility? Workaholic. What is the the opposite the workaholic? No, lazy. Mm. not lazy. Oh, yeah. What is the the ah uh, careless? Careless. Careless. What is the meaning, teacher? Teacher. Les, menos cuidados. Descuidado, descuidado. Careless in the job. Careless, careless, careless about, about work. Ah, careless about work. Care. In the chat, no sé. Less care. Less about work. No, no, no. Eh, careless, ya, ya estamos diciendo uh, que no le importa. No, si digo less careless, sería redundante. Ah, uh, ok. Careless. Uh -huh. Careless. For work. Careless. Careless. Podría decir not willing to work. No. Not willing to work. I'm not willing to work. Well, not engaged. And it's, it's, it's better that not engaged. Uh -huh. Menos comprometido, ¿no? No, no, comprometido. no comprometido. No comprometido. Uh -huh. Ajá, con el trabajo, no, right? Engaged. Yes. Not engaged. And in the, in the work, in the other topic, too. <laughs> not engaged. Not engaged. And delegate the responsibilities. No, no Nelson. No. Millennials are independent and delegate no, the engaged. responsibilities. Correct, correct. Exes are Another disciplinated. Discipline. Yes. X no, generations. Inga, inga, inga. Head. Change the M with N. Inga, inga. inga. G. Inga, G. No. Inga. At the teacher uh, in the well, right in the in the chat, no sé. Yeah. Please. Engage. Engage Nelson. Engage. Ed. Ajá. No engage. In the other, Glorita say discipline. The generation X more discipline. Disciplinados. Discipline. No, this, ¿qué sería? Indisciplinado es, es indisciplinado. Escribamos en el chat, porque sí, algunas ahorita. veces me escribo. Please. Ahorita, indisciplinado. Okay. Un, un, un disciplinado. O sea, en chat, el, no va a ver. En ahorita que no encuentro un disciplined the general gener ay ahí me faltó la s me envió sí pero está mal escrito un disciplined un disciplined disciplined is right un en ver en general capacity Okay. And they were more traditional. Y aquí sería. Mm, and in the case is more. Is relation mm. when innovate? Excuse me? We're talking about the innovation. Okay. When use that traditional. 
Innovation. ¿Cómo sería innovadores? The word innovadores. They are more in innovation work. They are they are innovation work. Sería en word innovators. Innovators. Only innovate. Yeah. Okay. Okay, continue. And the uh, and things to manage your things. Yes. Mm. No, with uh, with characteristics, because mm -hmm. we're talking about analyze. analyze. Yes, the baby boomers more analyzing, and millennials need more practice, maybe. Mm -hmm. Casi no la escucho por una hora. Analyze, si hay alguien que está, que tiene. No, es, una... que, es que yo, pero es que son las fiestas que están aquí. Ah, y el, yeah. y el, baile está, el baile está como a un kilómetro y se oye hasta aquí. Uh -huh. It's okay. the party in my city. <laughs> Continuaríamos con. Analyzing. El, el... Uh, analyzing, okay. What is the fears? Analyzing. Can you say the baby move, the baby woman, the one more analyzing people. Maybe. Can you say medical, there are multitasking? Okay, 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 continue. Other uh, the character uh, millennials uh, people young. Was baby boomer more and millennials? Eh, they are more multitasking. Oh, yeah, no escucho mucho. Hola, 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 me escuchan. Hello, hello, listen. Listen to me. Yes, I can hear you. Ok, continuemos porque. Ok, Gaby, only the last. Hello, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. What did I miss? Okay. Um, it took more we than one minute, right? The... <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because um, I was doing something back in my house. I hear uh, noise. So I just go to check it. It was nothing weird, you know. <laughs> so okay. I think it's an animal. Because uh, back in my house, there is a file, a big file with the raising antenna. So uh, right there is a, is a, like a green. Everything is, is, there is a lot of trees, grass and everything. So, uh, you say that was in a scan to my can to my house in sometimes it's snakes. Where? Wow. Yeah, so when I when dangerous. I hear something, yeah, it's very dangerous because I have my little daughters here. So when I hear something weird, I, I, I will go and check with my lamb if it's a, it's a snake or a taquasin or whatever, you know, I go to my patches because, because I live very near to the volcano. Mapache. So, 
Sí, mapaches son enojados hasta penquean a los chuchos. En inglés es raccoon. ¿Es agua? Raccoon. Raccoon. Yeah. So we were in stereotypes, right? Okay. Put something else because. I just, uh, uh, when I leave you girls, I just put a uh, punctual. Mm -hmm. uh, the other is stressed. Stressed? Mm -hmm. Yes. Stressed. Like stressed at work? Yes, like, you, you or in that? general. In general, right? Stressed. Yeah. I never had stress in my work because sometimes that I like my work, it I I never I never know what what are going to do tomorrow. I didn't know what <laughs> are going to do. Always I do something different. Oh. yeah. That's it, where I'm, mm -hmm. You 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 are Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday? I work uh, from. Monday to Saturday, uh, but Saturday up to 12. Oh, so, I, yeah. I have, so I have the afternoon free and Sunday is my day off. And sometimes when they, they need me, they pay me extra money because probably mm -hmm. in Sundays they like to go to the, to the Costa del Sol because they, ha uh, they have um, a rancho up there. Mm -hmm. And so I took them to over there. So they pay me extra. Uh, yeah. Nice. Nice yeah, work. Yeah, and sometimes when when they don't go, actually I took my family and we go with my daughters. Okay. Yeah, it's very private. I really like it because they have a lot of confidence with me. I have been there for almost think, seven years. It's very important the balance of work and family time. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you Gabby work to Monday to Friday or Monday to Sun to Saturday? Uh, Monday to Friday at office and sometimes uh, Saturday we need to be pending of the groups in, in mm. WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the, uh, we so, need the last one in the second part. Second part. Yes, in the important, uh, important. Oh my God, we just have one minute. Yeah. Uh, but we already have three, uh, flexible, patient, and open mind. Oh. Okay. Uh, but important classes to consider. Sí, okay. <laughs> michi, michi. Okay. Okay. The, the number one, the first is rise and fall together. Number two, be open to suggestion. True, true, trust the order. Yes? Mm. In a set, compare. In the... Passion and flexible. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see who comes back at last. Which group comes back at last? Dun, 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 dun. 
think it's going to be group number three, but I don't know. Hmm. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that was group four actually. Okay, so group number four, and I said me, Glorita, Nelson, and Wendy. Why, teacher? Okay, so just explain to us the different parts of your chart and compare, right? Compare. In this group, for example, there are four four participants in actually in every group there are four participants so if all of you you know if each one can explain one uh, part that will be great. Presentation. okay all yours okay wendy wendy is the generation millennium I representation generation X. Yes. Okay, generation X is uh, uh, is more responsible in, in the in the workplace in all all things in the day. Um, other other advantage is more stability in work hard, work hard, and discipline item. It's a generation X. When did you can? You can do. Okay, and the next is the generation millennium. Uh, well, it's less responsibility. Uh, we have stability and not engaging and indisciplinated, but hi, I don't know, but for me it's more free. <laughs> it's not indisciplinated, <laughs> but okay, indisciplinated. Okay, in a skin, the in, uh, generation X is more loyalty to employee. It's more. Uh, other is less criteria. Um, the final is a the is uh, the, the generation millennial is the little loyalty to employer and more creative and more innovation. It's a comparison, those two generations, uh, generation X and millennial. And it's and it's deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yes, very good. Has reason, teacher, in, in, the indiscipline found the the say rule is is maybe free or less rigid. Is right, teacher. Menos rigid. Less rigid. In what sense? I'm sorry. And the in not when they say on the on discipline that in on discipline possible right because the millennia is not that on discipline it may be less rigid of the rules or the, the less attached the open mind maybe yes more maybe less attached or open let's see they have more freedom. So book, uh, pronunciation, ah, freedom. pronunciation, advantage, ad advantage, 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 disciplined. disciplined. Listen, uh, in, in present, <laughs> discipline, discipline, I'm disciplined. Okay, disciplined, the second rule, disciplined. disciplined. In the adjective, teacher? As an adjective, as an adjective, right. I'm more disciplined than my father and whatever. Okay, creative. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. they they have more freedom. Uh, millennials oh. have more freedom. More freedom, yes. To speak, they are more open-minded. 
they don't mind breaking the rules, whatever. It's more relaxed. <laughs> They're more relaxed, yeah. Creative, creative, creative. creative. There you go. Creativity, creative. Say creative. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. No, don't worry. Don't say sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Wendy has reason. No. Uh, Wendy is right. Oh, I believe that Wendy is right somewhat. Um, Wendy is right. Listen, listen. I believe Wendy was oh. right somewhat. Somewhat. Algo. Okay. I okay. believe Wendy is right somewhat. Okay. De algún modo. Okay, somewhat. Good job. Good job. Okay, who is next, Wendy Patricia? Say in groups one, two, or three. <gasps> Um, three. Three, okay. Julia Patricia, Ofelia, Roselena, and Sandra Gladys. All yours. Can you see the, the screen? Yes, we can see it. If you may, hold on, you can actually close this by clicking there. You see that? If you click that, that's going to, there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for us is the advantage are just... for millennials that they know much about technology. Uh, they are creative and they like to innovate. And for exennials, uh, they are more responsible, they are hard workers and they are steady. Okay. Okay, the important characteristics you consider to lead them, the millennials. They are risk takers. They like to work in teams. They are productive. The Xennials, they like to teach. They are more independent and they are easygoing people. Sandra. Where's Sandra? <laughs> Is there things? No, the, the man tips tips the manage yes. them millennials is uh, provide technology facilities and give constant training to treat them fighting ex, ex millennials uh, continuous motivator give them the opportunity to grow competitive salaries. Okay, Continue. and for the, yeah, not me. <laughs> and for the stereotypes uh, for millennials, they, they don't like to work. They want to be recognized for everything. And they want uh, more flexibility. Uh, for exennials, they are boring. They can work in teams. And they are too old to work. Just that. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay. Advantages. 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 <laughs> there you go. You got it. Advantages. Um, hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, uh, please take a screenshot of this and send it to the group. That's really good as well. And the previous group as well, too. All, all of you just send your work to the chat in, in WhatsApp if you can. If you can do it, that would be great. They know much about technology. They are creative. They are Maybe. creative. You don't need the S. Okay. They are creative. They mm. like to innovate. Mm, okay. They are more responsible. They are hard workers. They are steady. So you can have stability. 
from Xennials. Uh, millennials are risk takers. I like that. They are risk takers. They like to work in teams. They are proactive. Yeah. Mm. Millennials being proactive. Yes. Yeah. They like to teach. Xennials, they are more independent. They are easygoing people. Yeah. And so on. Great job. Okay, guys. Um, so we're missing two more groups. Please, um, someone become responsible of presenting their job or, well, we have three minutes. Who's next? Let's do one more. Rosalina, who is next? Group two or group one? Two. Two, okay. Edwin, Gabriela, Carla, and Pamela. <laughs> Carla is like, I don't want to. Okay. These eyes. Number one, uh, advantage they bring at the workplace. Uh, rise and falls together and be open the su suggestion and truth and others. Number, number two, Gabriela. Okay, uh, important characteristics to consider to lead them. One, uh, they are open mind, uh, patient, and be flexible. And tips to management then, the workshop. We think the training could be uh, the most important and rewards uh, programming uh, based in objectives and goals. Okay, and for the stereotypes, uh, um, 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 uh, lazy, uh, stressed, and also technology obsessed. Obsess. Good job. Okay, really quick. Objectives. Objectives. The emphasis is on object, objectives and goals. Um, punctual. Punctual. Um, punctual. Punctual. Okay, stressed, stressed, the past of stress, stressed. Okay, and that's it for today. So let me think about it for a minute. Hmm, Anna Selmi, have we stayed so far? No, would you mind staying yes, 10 minutes? Yes, teacher, it's good. Awesome, okay. We stay 10 minutes. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present. <laughs> Thank you. I know, guys, we're missing one group. We will see them to on Monday, okay? Please. El grupo que hace falta. Okay, okay, I'm okay, so okay. sorry. <laughs> Solo guárdelo, okay. Walter, porfa. Eso sí. Okay. Please. Okay. okay. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present teacher. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Good night. Good night. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Ofelia Orellana Arce. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. <laughs> Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. 
Present. Okay. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Gracias, hermano, por acogernos. Por... Yeah. Teacher, me, teacher. Who me? Present. Oh, yes, Walter. I said Walter, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Hope okay. you have a wonderful evening, guys. And take care. Enjoy your weekend. Okay. See you on Monday. Bye. See you Monday. Monday. Bye. Happy Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. My God, they don't want to go. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, there we go. So, how are you, Anna Selmi? I am tired, teacher, but tired. I am feeling better. And are you working yeah. tomorrow? No, this weekend I I am not working because um, tomorrow uh, my uncle and my aunt uh, are will they will arrive. Or arrive they are arrive. arriving. Arrive. No, they will arrive or they are arriving. Yes, they are arriving. Um, and from I need to go to wait, Subutan. wait. They are arriving from from the United States, the from Miami, the, from the United States, yes. or from Miami. They're arriving from Miami. from Miami. Okay, they're coming from Miami. Okay, and you're and going to Sulutan. Santa Elena, Sulutan. My... I heard. I heard that place. Uh, a friend of mine um, is originally from from that place. Santa Elena, yeah. Are you are you from Santa Elena, or Sulutan? Uh, the family's father. My father's family. My fam my family's father. Uh, 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 my father's family. My father's family. Yes, my father's family is from Sulutan. Um, from Sulutan. When Santa was Elena. the when was the last time you were in Santa Elena? Um, I live in Santa Elena when we were the five years. Five years old when you when oh, I was yeah. five years old, and that was the last time you went to Santa Elena. I mean, no, the last time I I visited visit my family. It, two years ago, teacher. Was two years ago. Really? Two years. Yes. Two years but ago. But the 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 village mm -hmm. is very nice because the people he, is our teacher are. People the is people, the people is very friendly in general teacher so people is very friendly people friendly. is very friendly yes people mm -hmm. is very friendly and generous and generous yes. why and why generous teacher, uh, because you visit the any house uh -huh, any house and they offer and <laughs> they offer you coffee oh, or coffee food. no yeah very generous I've seen, I heard that before from many other small towns, a taco. Yeah. yeah. The, the environment is peaceful. Peaceful, very yeah. calm. And very calm. The, the weather is, it's not good. The weather because it's hot. The, it's hot. Yes, the Usulutan is hot, teacher. Yeah, that's what but, I heard. Mm -hmm. But in the Usulutan, they are the other zone is higher. For example, the Alegría. Alegría, the weather is is cold. It's cold. Yes, the Be because they're they're most forest. There there's ah, more. Yes, yes to share. There are more trees. But my family is very. Um, 
uh, is simple but very united yes united yes. Very united good. yeah mm. they like but, together yeah yeah do you have cows no. Do, they, do they have cows over no, there? It, 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 the other characteristic of the village mm -hmm. is the majority mm -hmm. of the citizens. Teacher, the citizens, very good. The, the majority of the citizens are teachers. Teachers of what? Yes, in the, the in teachers. The Santa Elena. Um, teachers. Yeah, but teachers of general of many. Um, Oh my professors God. at the university, yes. Teacher. Oh, university teachers, professors, uh huh. Yes, but yeah, in, but in, the in village, general, math, science. The majority, the majority of the of the citizens? all all citizens, they are teachers. Retired sometimes. Mm, no. Yes. It, yes. If you were yes. to re, if you were to retire. Would you leave there? No. No. <laughs> what? What? Where would you like to leave? My dream teacher. Uh, your my dream? dream? My dream is uh, in the future when my son uh, has the A family, her life, her his his uh, own. His yes. own house, his own life. Yes. Uh -huh. in the, complete independent. When, when my son becomes independent? Yes. When my son becomes independent, mm -hmm. and my dream is travel to Europe. Is to travel to Europe. A specific teacher. Specifically? Italy. Specifically? 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 Uh, Italy. Specifically? 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 Specifically. specifically specifically there you go specifically specifically to, to italy to italy um, um, why but would you retire in italy yeah <laughs> in my in my dream teacher but i love it the 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 environment I love it. The oh, oh, oh wait! The food. I love the environment. I love. I the love food. the environment. I love the food. Yeah, that and... it that it is the noun. So I love it. The environment. No, I love the environment. I love it. The food. No, I love the food. Exactly. Uh -huh. I love the food. Mm -hmm. I love the environment. The people, yeah. I guess, is very special as well yes. for me, really. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard that. Yes, it's just, but, but lovers, lovers are bad. Lovers are bad in Italy because oh they God, they husband. do this. They do this all the time. They don't oh, use their hands. <laughs> give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. They say, and they they keep oh, doing God. this. They don't touch you. <laughs> it's enough with my husband. <laughs> no, you didn't get it. It's a joke. Dicen que los italianos no son buenos amantes porque todo el tiempo le están haciendo si no ocupan las manos. <laughs> I am because how do you say it, a teacher the um, but in the Spanish it's mujeriegos, no? But in English no, true. I don't know. How do you say mujeriego in English? The Italy yeah, this is a stereotype. A pimp. This is a stereotype of the Italian. Yeah, that's a stereotype from Italians. Exactly. Womanizer, womanizer. Woman, there's a song called Womanizer. Woman, uh, nicer, Womanizer, woman, woman, nicer. But the woman, they are very beautiful for teacher. The Italian Italian women, Italian women, yeah, are beautiful, really. Yeah, hmm. what about chalate? That's better, chalate <laughs> it's closer. <laughs> Green eyes, yeah. <laughs> okay, Anna Selmi, it's a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for joining me on Thank this short meeting. Thank you for your feedback, teacher. For me, it's oh. very important. Thank you. I know. You're doing good. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Good night. You too, teacher. Bye. Bye.